177, 182 and a half. He's been in that sort of territory plenty of times. But now... Uh, to Ivanovsky, 182 and a half. And he's the lightest of those who are in contention. And that means Shishyanikov's got to go to 185. And if Yemelianov wants to do this, he's also got to go to 185 because he's lighter than Shishyanikov. So by going to 185, he could still win the snatch gold. But it's a big, big call. Now, Shishyanikov... 182 and a half. I don't understand this. Why would he go to 182 and a half for his third lift, which is exactly the same as Ivanovsky when Ivanovsky's got the lighter weight? Well, he must be. He must be thinking about the total. Two to one against. Yeah, so that probably answers the question. Replay coming up in a moment, and we'll have a look at that. Well, I thought that was a good lift. Need to really see it from the front to... Uh, here we go. No, there was no press out there. There was nothing wrong with that lift, in my opinion. Mm -hmm. That was a good lift. So, Yemeliano for 182.5 which will put him into the silver medal position. But Ivanovsky has won the snatch goal, whatever happens now. <laughs> Pressure lift. And this time, surely he's OK. Yes, he is. But he hasn't got the snatch goal, which he fancied himself for, but he's back in the competition. Well, uh, a short competition, but many twists and turns. And it means that Alexandru Bratan of Moldavia, the man who led for a while, thanks to his efforts earlier in the morning in the B group, slips down to fourth place and unfortunately doesn't get anything for his efforts. So, not the quality we were seeing yesterday, but at the halfway point, Ivanovsky of Russia leads with 182 and a half by virtue of his lighter body weight. Belarus, Yelimilianov in silver with Shishlyanikov, the other Russian, in uh, bronze medal position. Alexander Bratin just uh, missing out, as you can see. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, it'll be the clean and jug. And remember, those super heavyweights, Ronnie Vela and Chemerkin, coming up very shortly. Looking at the board there, Yemelianov, who snatched 182 on his last attempt after two failures, has fouled with 210, decided to uh, take the gamble at 215. It uh, paid off on the snatch, it might well pay off on the clean and jerk, but on the evidence of what we've seen in the last few minutes, you wouldn't, uh, you wouldn't gamble on it. Now this is uh, quite a tall order. Tantom. Well, he knows he, he knows he can't make a total, so he's obviously going he, for a medal in the clean and jerk. Indeed, because he, he is lightweight, 101.5 kilos. He's the second lightest. But that was beyond him. Well, there's nothing wrong in being a little ambitious, particularly in his situation where he wasn't going to get a total. He might as well have gone for it. So there it is. You can see for yourself in the clean and jerk, Bright Animal David, he's lifted 215, and he's uh, at the moment well ahead. You can see Ivanovsky there. He's 210 and got started. as as Osuch, but they've got two more attempts to catch up the Moldavian. But remember, the Moldavian's light, so they've got to really go an extra two and a half kilos. Because they need to get past him in terms of the total, yeah. as well as the clean and jerk. So this man failed at 2.10 twice. Now opting to go for broke. This is all... Well, 
this is going to be a mighty effort. Clean's good. He really needs to lock those arms out. Well, I don't know if he's going to get away with that. He's left the left arm sort of slightly unlocked. No. I think he's unhappy, but he's also resigned. I think he knows inside himself that it wasn't according to the rule book. He's got a problem with that left arm. And here he's tried to just keep it bent to sort of pretend that that's as far as that arm goes. But the referee's not really being fooled by that. There it is, Bratan Moldavia, equal with Ivanovsky, but Ivanovsky still with a couple of lifts to overtake the Moldavian. Oh, such 385. He's got to find uh, seven and a half kilos to uh, get on terms. And this is Shishlianikov coming out for 215. So this is 10 kilos up. And this is going to take him to a total of 395 in the lead, if he can do it. And he might. Oh. He might well do that. So he takes the lead. No, he doesn't. No, he doesn't. <laughs> no, he doesn't. Two to one against. Well, this will be uh, fascinating to look at. Well, the crowd not happy with this. Oh, come on, David. Well, I, I thought it was a good lift. So they obviously think he pressed it out on the left arm. Yeah, but I, I, th I thought it was okay. It, it looked fine. I would have, I would have given the lift. Now Herbert Erhard, president of the German Weightlifting Federation, in the middle of those uh, gentlemen there. He's in the jury, and the jury have no, not made any move to overturn that decision. So Ivanovsky coming out now for his attempt, second attempt at 2.15, and this would take him to 3.97 and a half, and the overall lead. It would also uh, put him equal in terms of kilos lifted to Bratin, but he still wouldn't lead the clean and jerk. He'd be in silver medal position, which he's in anyway now. surely is the overall lead and on terms in the clean and jerk yes it is three white lights and he's got one lift left and apart from Bratan the Moldavian who is now surpassed in the overall total he's the lightest of the contenders so he's really in the driving seat now and this looks like a Russian gold medal because he's the only man who's laying down lift after lift after lift and he's clearly tunnel vision on exactly what he's doing. There it is, Ivanovsky by five kilos ahead of Bratton. Osuch uh, now of course, 12 and a half kilos off the pace. Still leading the clean and jerk, though. Indeed. So uh, not for the first time this week. Every chance that a B group man is going to come and earn himself a medal. So, Shishyanikov. So, this is really for the silver overall. That's interesting. They've got 215 kilos and a second attempt on there for Shishyanikov. Now, by our tally, that should be a, a third attempt. Ah, oh, no mistake that time. No mistake on the jerk that time. There it is. Three white lights. So Sishyanikov now goes into third place in the clean and jerk and overall is into second place. But I'm still confused. Was that his second attempt? Was he that was given? His, that was his third attempt. At, well, so they've... Oh, maybe the jerk overturned the 
have given him another lift. So just confirmation there, the jury overruled the judges in the previous lift of Shishianikov, and therefore the one that he wasn't given at 2.15, he was given a second attempt. Yeah, of course, you see the referee, the, sorry, the jury, they can't change the referee's decision, but they can award another attempt, which in this case is what they did. So the overall winner still hasn't been decided because the second of the Russians still has one attempt remaining. So after that little bit of uh, confusion, let me tell you that Ivanovsky of Russia leads with a total of 397.5. He's two, ahead, two and a half ahead of his Russian teammate, Shishianikov, who's heavier than him, with Bratan and Mold down into third place. And Darius Osoc is about to come on stage in a moment in fourth place for Poland, but he's only got 385, but he does have two attempts left. In the clean and jerk, the situation is that uh, Bratin is still leading the clean and jerk because he's the lightest man at 2.15. So Ivanovsky's got one left, Shishyanikov's got one left, Osuch has got two left. And this is 2.20, so it's a 10 kilo increase, which would uh, leap him into the lead in the clean and jerk. And in the overall total, it would take him to 395 and put Osuch into second place overall. Well, he's got one more go at it. Yes, this developing into, into a good battle now. Well, it's almost a competition of he who makes the, less, the least mistakes will win the major honours. Because you could see Bratan, the man from the B group from Moldavia, did precious little wrong, and that's why all his figures are standing up. Everybody else, really, bar Ivanovsky, making too many mistakes. But, of course, this lift now, the third and final clean and jerk. And this will give him the lead. It will take him to 400 kilos in total. Oh, yes. And 220 in the clean and jerk. So now Shislanikov of Russia now leads the clean and jerk and the overall competition. Uh, he's finished his lifting and he's totaled 400. He's really used that extra attempt given to him by the jury to his best advantage. And uh, Russia now can reply, Ivanovsky. He only needs two and a half kilos to uh, be on terms, but he's forced to take 220. And so uh, this would take him to uh, 402.5 in the clean and jerk. But he must do this to take the lead over his, his teammate. This is his last attempt. He's gone five lifts out of five so far. Well, he's looked okay. And this is the gold medal. Hasn't made a mistake. And that's how you should win championship weightlifting, putting the six lifts home. The first and second for Russia, but we well, still don't know about that third position because, of course, the pole has still got one attempt left to go ahead of the uh, Alexandru Bratton from the B group. So it's Osuch who will finish this 105 kilo competition, but uh, all credit to Ivanovsky. Good lift. Yes, good technician. No question about his arms. Straight to arm's length, arms locked out. So Osuch now with 220. If he lifts this, he will go to 395, which will give him the overall bronze. If he fails, then Alexandru Bratan of Moldavia will take the bronze medal as far as the clean and jerk is concerned. 
the situation there is that again Osuch, if he gets this will push Brata off the podium Needs to stand still. Three white Good lights. Night. Three white lights. And he the takes the bronze. The Moldavian, who I feel a little sorry for, for his efforts from the B group, unfortunately pushed down to uh, fourth place. And in fact, that uh, lift has given Osuch the silver in the uh, clean and jerk because he was... 50 grams lighter than Shishlyanikov, and he's ended on 220. In fact, all three men have ended on 220, but body weight has destroyed gold, silver, and bronze in the clean and jerk. Overall, though, Osuch is in the bronze medal position. And there, nothing to do with body weight. It's the kilos lifted that have correctly earned Ivanovsky the goal. But here, the clean and jerk, three men on together you can see the body weights there 104 20 so 200 grams heavier Osuch takes the silver and then an extra 50 grams heavier Shishlanikov getting the bronze so that last lift giving the the pole the silver medal on the clean and jerk indeed overall it's been Ivanovsky's competition and he deserves that here he is by virtue of his consistency and he's quite right to look happy and that's uh, Russia's first overall champion of these championships the Bulgarians well they've taken uh, eight titles the Hungarians two the Germans three and now Russia will be on the top step of the podium thanks to the efforts of this man So a uh, little conflab going on, just waiting for the uh, overall results to uh, confirm for you. Here they are, Ivanovsky, 402.5, six very good lifts, two and a half ahead of his own teammate, Shostlanikov. Osuch getting into uh, third place and spare a thought for Alexandru Bratin of Moldavia. Well, that's the uh, 105 kilo competition. Coming up next, Ronnie Weller, Andre Chemerkin in the super heavyweight and a real possibility of world record prizes. Stay with us here on Eurosport for what promises to be a real cracking finale to what has already been an excellent championships. Riza, it's super heavy.